gosh, I miss you too. Oh, God, I get so emotional. I'm just joking. So, guess what? Today I'm doing good, so I hope that you're doing good. And I know that when you watch the show, it's gonna be good. And it bars. So for today's episode of Moisty Land, we are going to be doing a for the first time ever on Moisty Lines. A story time. So today's story time is about the time. I created a step team, which is actually recent because we just had our first performance like two days ago. So, you know, it's very exciting and I just cannot wait to just share this with you guys. So, let's get into the story. Alright, so, it all started one day, I think in March or after that, I have no idea. So, I got, I, I had gone to my new school um, and, you know, anyone who knows me very well knows that it's very easy for me to approach people to make friends and stuff like that um but when I got to my new school it was not like that at all and you know just coming fresh off the boat from Ghana I felt like a straight up foreigner so definitely when I was coming to the new school I was really hectic and I was really nervous because I was like they're not gonna like me they're gonna be like oh she's from Ghana she's like or something like that Ghanaians don't stink they smell amazing they smell amazing so so, uh, I think God was like, Royce, you have to talk to somebody. Like, you just need to make a friend. Because I was sitting by myself at lunch for two weeks straight by myself. I don't even know how I made it, to be honest. I don't know how I was able to sit at lunch by myself. It was just terrible. So... I was talking to my cousin one night because I stayed with him and we were talking and I was telling him that like, I want to start a step team. Like, I, It doesn't look like the school has a step team. He was like, oh no, they don't, but you should try it out. That'd be really cool. I was like, all right, but I can't just start it if I don't know anyone. So one day, like Dominique said, I put on my big kid shoes and I was going to approach this girl. I was like, I'm going to talk to her. She seems cool. She seems friendly. I'm about to go up to her. So I was walking. Confidence. Everything's ready. My outfit looking good. I'm walking up to her. Then her friend looked at me. I swear to the right. <laughs> and I went to my seat. Because I was like, I couldn't do it. All right. So I tried again. We're supposed to pick like papers from the front of the room. So I went to the front. Got my stuff. I was coming back. I was about to say it. I looked, dead at, I looked her dead at her face. And walked the other way. And I was just like, Lois. What are you gonna do? It's, it's, it seems like we're having a bit of a problem trying to approach this girl. I was like, what am I gonna do? I have to talk to this girl or I'm never gonna start a team. I'm not gonna have any friends and I'm gonna die alone. So then I was like, I'm about to go back to elementary school. I wrote her a note and I put my, I was like, hey, so I'm too nervous to talk to you. So I think I said I was too shy to talk to her. So if she wants, if she doesn't find this completely awkward and weird, she should just like text me. And I gave, put my number on the paper and I, when I walked back to the front, I think I went to do something. I put on her desk and I ran straight to my desk. I sat down. I was like, Lord Jesus, I'm so scared. And then I was like, she wasn't texting me. Because, like, I was still sitting there, like, looking at my phone. I was like, she didn't text me. Like, and I was like, crap. I just freaked her out. She go tell everyone that I'm a weirdo. I'm going to die. Like, I was I was overthinking a lot. And then the next block, she, she texted me. And I was like... So we started talking, we became really close, um, you know, I told her about my idea of starting a step team. She said that she knows a teacher that, you know, could help us, and so we went to the teacher, talked to the teacher, and she also was like, oh, that's a good idea. There was already a step team, but for some reason it dissolved, and I was like, then let's bring it back. So let's, so I was coming full force, but guys, when I tell you there were so many obstacles, there were so many obstacles, oh my god, it was so hard getting people. So I was trying to, I was just trying, trying to get people to join, but I didn't know that many people. So then this other girl joined and she had a greater influence because she did cheerleading already. So she definitely helped with the process. And like, at the end of the day, she became my captain, my other captain. Like there are two head captains and a co-captain. So through all the work, through all the struggle, getting people to join, um, posters and all this, with the girl who, you know, decided to help. We finally got a small step group. Like, that was, like, last semester. So we were learning the steps. We are working hard. And then this semester came. And 
I don't know what happened, man. It's like people were just leaving and people were getting lazy and things were just going wrong. And I, step is supposed to be discipline. You know what I mean? Step is not supposed to be like, oh, come and have fun. Have fun, but we're disciplined. We're structured. We're not, we don't just do anything. So, and I think that's, and then people also had their own personal problems. So it was like the team was slowly dissolving and I was slowly like feeling really sad about it. So then me and my captains decided that, okay, we're going to have another tryouts and see what we can do. Let's see if we can get more people. So we, me and my captains and a few other people who are still part of my team, we will continue to practice, 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 getting our routine straight, everything straight. Then we had tryouts. We had in mind like 20 people are going to come, 30 people are going to come, half of the school will going to come. And guess how many people came? The first day of tryouts. I think it was like three or four. And at first I was like, this is just not gonna work. It's not enough. But then I realized something. Why would I say that? You don't say stuff like that. It's gonna work. Positivity, positive mindset, guys. I'm telling you, it will take you far. Keep that positive mindset and you will go far. That rhymed, right? I think, anyway. So we had our tryouts and the people and then more people joined because my co-captain's friends were like, "Oh, let's try it out." So, before I knew it, we had at least 10 people on my team and we were on fire. We were excited. It was I was so excited because I knew it was going to be something amazing. So, we've been practicing day and not day and night, but after school getting to 3 hours just rehearsing, rehearsing, teaching them the steps, perfect perfecting the dance. It was so much. And then homecoming week, like um, spirit week came and we were all so excited because we were thinking there's gonna be a pep rally. And you know, step team, cheerleading palms, everything they perform at the pep rally. So we were, we were working our butts off. We were like, we need to get ready for this pep rally. We are going to make it amazing. And it was just like, we were working, we were working, we were working. <sighs> two days before the pep rally. I think it was two days or one day. They tell us that they canceled the pep rally. My whole team was devastated. So then we were like, oh, maybe we can perform at the varsity football game. Let's try. Let's not give up. Long story short, it didn't work out either. So now look at how discouraged we were. Nothing was working our way. Everything was just messing up. But that didn't stop us. We weren't going to stop just because we got a few letdowns. Yeah, obstacles. It was stressful and it hurt to know that we're putting in so much effort and like nothing was really coming out. Those late nights, you gotta go home, finish your homework, study for this, study for that. You gotta test. Like my my other captain, Jasmine, I swear, kudos to her, cause she puts in so much into this team, and so does Rita, and so do I. My captains, I would never ask for anyone else but them, because they work hard, they're determined, they're smart, they're they're passionate about what I'm passionate about. They're helping me achieve my dream, and that goes for my team too. I can't say that I could have done it myself because I couldn't have. And even the girl I started the team with, kudos to her too, because without her, how would I have started it, you know? So we talked to one of the coaches, and we're, we're already going to perform winter for, you know, basketball season. That's de definite. But we wanted them to see us. We want them to know that Step Team is here because we're going to have another child for winter. So we're like, Step Team is here. We are ready. Let's do this. We want to do this. We have been begging and begging and pleading. We want this to happen. So we talked to the coach and we were like, so do you think maybe we can perform at the JV games? Even though it's on the field, like we'll have a board. We'll just, we'll make it work. And the coach was like, okay. I was like. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? Are you really serious? I All I had to do was ask and you go be like, okay. Like he didn't even, he was like, okay, that's fine. I thought he was going to give us a lecture or something. He was like, nope, that's fine. So, yes, two days ago on Thursday. Yeah, so two days ago, today, Saturday, Thursday. We were there, and our team was losing zero to 36 or 38. It was not the best. So we were like, it was JV game, though, JV football. And so we were like, oh, Jesus, what's going to happen now? Because, I mean, I, in my head, I was like, do we still have to perform? Like, but my co-captains looked at me and was like, 
you must be out of goddamn mind if you think we ain't gonna perform after everything we've been through. Girl, shut up. So it was almost time for us to perform. And I don't know who said it, but someone was like, we should pray. And I was like, I will pray. I mean, I shouted a lot louder, but I was like, I'm gonna pray. So we held hands together and we came together as a family, as a team, as one accord, and we prayed. And we came through. I don't even need to tell y'all. I have some footage from the performance, so I'm gonna let y'all see that right now. We are the Urban Steppers, ready to win. It's game, and when we step on the field, we call a major earthquake. I don't think it has you, but we stop this beat. You can't compete the way we step. We bring the heat. Obviously, it's never going to be perfect, but I can honestly say I've never been more proud of my team. We worked together, we were focused, we were determined, and guys, if you're watching this, thank you so much for being a part of my team. You made my dream come true of making a difference, of doing something different. So here's my advice to anyone out there who wants to do something, you have a dream, you have a goal, or you want to start something new, go for it. Obstacles will come. People will discourage you. People will make you feel like your idea is stupid. People will make you feel like your idea your idea can't come to pass. Oh, how can you have white girls on your team? White girls can step. That is some bull crap. One of our best steppers is white and she's amazing. You don't it doesn't matter about race. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. Race has nothing to do with anything. We're all human beings. It doesn't matter whether you're black, white, orange, blue, purple. It just matters about your mindset and your potential and your determination to do what you want to do. So don't look at the circumstances. Look at what you want to do and do it. Put your heart into it and do it. No matter what comes your way, keep fighting for what you want. Because who's going to fight it for you? There's no one who's going to fight it for you. You have to do it yourself. So that's my advice, guys. You have a dream. You have a goal. You have something that you feel like you want to do? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You better go and do it. Now, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Um, you guys are amazing. Thank you for your support. Just being with me throughout my journey, throughout this process. You guys are amazing. And I know that we're going to the top. And we're not going to stop now, nor ever. So with all that said, you are made for a reason and nobody can change that. Be happy, be positive, and be you!